What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be slamming the IS300, even though I just got it not that long ago. You haven't opened this yet? The coilovers I decided to pick up were silvers. If you guys haven't heard of them, they've been around for quite a while, but when it comes to the whole JDM scene, it seems like they're relatively... Snap on. Relatively what? No. They're similar price to BCs, so I want to see how they compare. Hey Stephanie, remember when I told you I was going to keep this car stock high for a little bit? Yeah, I didn't believe you. Well, a week is a little bit. The good thing about these is they're not going to be like the E46. The E46 are non-adjustable when it comes to stiffness. <laughs> As you can see right here, the fronts are 14K, which is pretty stiff for a setup like this. Then 8K in the rear, that's soft, but obviously you want stiffer in the front because of the engine as well there's a lot of weight up there okay. Ooh, just come with stickers so are we going to do a 15 minute challenge hey no <laughs> the is 300 does have a true style setup so it doesn't have a separate shock and spring i just love how clean they look like they're just a simple silver black oh. setup how do you get camera on this you don't no oh. it depends on the cars stephanie loves the color good. scheme of the bcs oh i need to I actually remember. have bcs in my hand hold on and i'm not going to start judging each one bcs were plastic we're actually in on it. the threading really these are not plastic they were plastic on the threads yes, yes yes and what i like about these is these are one to three days to do a custom build so say you want thicker or stiffer spring rates or you want extreme lows they'll get it done one to three days ship which one from the front to the rear they're all the same yeah no this, That's is, the, the this is the rear they're smaller look at the top hats you're a genius, Mario. There you go. Look at the top hats, dude. These are the extreme lows. I didn't make a mistake this time, all right? Just like the E30. Are you sure? Because you didn't sure. realize it. I don't know. Look at the packaging. Let's look at the labels. After it got modified, it wasn't. It says extreme highs. Oh shit. oh shit, it's a lifting. Send them back. What I like about these, Morgan, is look at the actual adjustability, the purchase. Do you see how they're different? Why do they like that? They pretty much made it so it's a lot easier to, to adjust Holes? them. Pretty much these are a lot thicker. And they're bigger and they don't have a bunch of little ones so they Some don't slip the too. i don't know honestly weight reduction weight reduction sir that's the only thing i can think of when it comes to bcs normally when you get the extreme lows the highest setting for the coilovers are about two inches lower already so with these i want to set them to the highest point then adjust it from there because we're going to be trying to install everything today and set it up to where i'm going to be driving it and i do want to go as low as possible without obviously scraping the fenders because it is a big tire down there hopefully we can um slam the shit out of my is 300. <laughs> yesterday we actually did hit 30,000 subscribers so thank you guys for all the love, we can't wait to hit the half mark of 100,000. That's the next goal. I remember when we had our little whiteboard set up with our 2019 goals, I think my goal was to hit like 15,000. I mean, it was pretty low at the time, but we just skyrocketed. So thank you guys so much. And this build is definitely gonna be a good one for you guys. And that's why I'm going full send just like the E30. Two hours later, we haven't done any progress on the car. And I just got a huge ass burn because we've been trying to remove the wheel locks. What's the situation? Some owner of the Lexus, which is kind of an idiot. The current owner. <laughs> he didn't check to see if he had the, the key for this. So what we had to do was get a 19 millimeter, wherever it is, and actually hit it out. And it's a 12 point. So that's what you need. You can't use a regular 6.1. Get it, get it. Oh, sick ass fool. Don't use this to ever steal wheels. Best thing about Lexus is that it comes with a first aid kit. It's only getting worse, look. Oh my god, all these stuff are like 20 years old, probably. I'm trying it'll work. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh! You're a doctor? At the no, juice place? I save bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Why are these been all crooked? Oh. Ah. Relax, relax. So we're gonna have to move the front control arm, the upper control arm, which might be a nightmare, but boots are important if you guys don't have them on your coils because it keeps the actual shock shaft clean and you don't want any dirt in there. There is this 12 volt igniter that you do have to remove and it's literally like a nut on top of a nut and then another 12 or 10 millimeter right here and that just comes off and then you can fully remove the three nuts on the top. We jacked at the bottom of the knuckle just so there's no stress on the coil. That allows us to remove the bolt fairly easy and just by hand. Like everyone was mentioning, we are running into an issue removing the control arm stud. So I sent Chacha and Stephanie to get one of these tools and it's literally that one right there. And what that does is it hooks on this right here 
and it literally forces this stud out. And every time I've used it, it's worked. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. If that comes off, then the fronts are gonna be cake. We haven't attempted the rears. The rears shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Okay, we literally tried just testing it and it actually worked, but we didn't get to show you guys. And we do, so let's go to the other side real quick. This is so tough. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh fuck! You're about to loosen it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's on. All right, all right, I'll get out. I'll get out. Use a brake, fool. So after removing the wheel speed sensor, it's so thin too. How many differences in the weights? I think it's a many weight differences. Uh, not, not weight necessarily. Hold on. Look at the height difference, though. Oh, oh. black! I think it's pretty similar, actually. Yeah, I mean the height difference is pretty pretty big already as it is. It's the same thing. So, There's no weight reduction there. You should just go in. Right there. Right, hold. I'm literally doing the least, okay. We are working. I respect that. Knuckles. For the rears, just to get to the top hat, you do have to remove two 10 millimeters holding the trims in place. And then the whole thing should just come off. There are these little twist pieces that you can remove that will make it easier so you don't break them off. You do have to remove this camber adjustment nut as well so the whole thing could just fall down. Because if you don't, it's going to be a pain in the ass to take it out. Then why is it so cricket though? No. Is it, it's not loose from the top? No. Because if it would be loose from the top and we can like push it down, it will like get loose. We're just going to fuck up the threads. Oh, 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 my finger! <laughs> <laughs> Look how tall that thing is already. Keep holding it. Ah. No, not done yet. What's up, guys? Day two of the coilover install for the IS300. We pretty much wrapped everything up last night. The only issue that we were running into was that the driver's side rear was making a skidding noise, kind of like a backing plate when it's bent and it's slapping the rotor. We couldn't really figure it out and we even took apart the caliper and did a bunch of work and it was just getting really, really dark and that's why we didn't really want to reveal it to you guys. But right now, it's the next day, we're gonna be attempting to fix the issue because it's literally only on one side and honestly, it could just be the rotor that's needing to be replaced. But let me show you guys how the car looks slammed. Hold on, I need to fix your blinker fluid issue. We should probably sell that, huh? Because a lot of people need that shit. Yeah, you guys don't understand? His blinker is starting to go out slowly, only on this side. So he's probably at the max of six. That's 000. probably why it's making that skinny noise too, if you think about it. It could be. You, just, you don't need that much. Pretty much this thing will last you a long, really long time. You can buy it anywhere at a static garage near you. <laughs> well, I can't even hold my... <laughs> <laughs> this is the IS300 slam. This thing looks so sick, especially the rear. We did have to adjust it very little because honestly, we didn't think that it was gonna be so low. If you guys remember, we did raise the coilovers up before we even put them on. So just with that, it was still slapped to the floor. We couldn't even remove the lifts, but we got the rear to how we want it, which is pretty much perfect. The front, I'm gonna try to go a little bit lower. It's just this big ass tire is gonna start hitting this piece and obviously the fender's not rolled. It just looks so good in the back and it was funny because the front always used to be my favorite but now that it's slammed it just looks so nice ah look at that hey relax i know what you're gonna do i've seen it before so what do you guys think do you guys like it i am gonna be keeping the stock wheels on for quite some time because i want to be doing a lot more to the car aside from the wheels but on that note i hope you guys enjoyed the video like subscribe and share and see you on the next one I was, I didn't have it on the porch for like five minutes. <laughs>